Here's China, Ma Chong, as you would expect, been on some good form, but also keep your eyes out for the big streaky man, Gao, six foot eight, dynamite. Here's Chinese Taipei. Unluckily, they were holding Sri Lanka briefly in their earlier game before going down 26-7. Look out for big number four, Cheng, and Huang, number seven. They certainly have improved from tournament to tournament came seventh in the hong kong league and then came sixth in the seoul league so they're looking to improve once more and that fifth spot is definitely contestable for all these sides ma chong Gets us underway, and there's Gao. Look at him going after that one. The big man up he goes, and he gets it back. Just like they would have drilled a hundred times before. And here comes one of the Chinese Taipei big men. It's Xie Pinyi, and getting close here. Oh, it looks like a little fumble on the line. Has the referee spotted that? He spotted something holding the ball, so penalty China. An early chance there for Chinese Taipei. Would have made things very interesting. Here's Gao, fires one out, gets back the return pass and is happy enough just to get to the ground with that one and they'll set things off again. They've got to go coast to coast here, but they can. Ma Chong's not out here this time. He's stuck on the other wing, but instead it's Shan Chang Shun. Scored a lot of tries in this series. The flag is up in front of us, so there's a foot in touch. And a good breakout from China, but good defense from Chinese Taipei. Look at that tackle. That's copybook round the thighs, and Huang comes over. He's not much of him, the slender man, but he's, he's full of courage. Huang goes up, this featherweight, they easily get him up, soaring in the air, and they set a midfield target now. China trying to get in there through Gao, really admire this hard-working lock forward, but here comes China. Looking a little bit disorganized, the Chinese, and Chinese Taipei have seized onto that. Unlucky not to get that one back. Here's Ma, what can he cook up? Bang, bang off the right. Through the gap, can he get the arm free? Takes on a couple of tacklers. Around the corner they come. Chinese Taipei us defending like madmen out there. Sensing an opportunity against China. Arm is out, so knock on China and a bit of relief coming for Chinese Taipei. Big opening passages, no score yet. Chinese Taipei backs are very deep here. They do the first thing. We saw their scrum in their earlier match was massive, pushing Sri Lanka off a couple of big scrums. 
Yeah, and that's good defensive work from Shan Chung Shun. Getting over that ball nice and strong. And it was Chen who just had to hold on to that for a little bit longer. And Shan, the penalty winner. He digs it out and throws out a big loopy pass there and he gets it at the toes to Ma Chong and he would have expected to do a little bit better but it was loose and defence was coming up on him. Might have just seen them out of his eye. So still nil all. As these two neighbours go at each other, hammer and tongs at the race course international stadium. Huang feeds it and scoots around the side. This time they see that the sweeper, Ma Chong, was on the open side. And it's a foot race down to the 22. It's going to stop in field. Ma goes in, gets it down. And can they get him over the sideline? No, he's too strong. And that's good work from Ma. He saved the day there for China. And they tap and go quickly. And this is sapping stuff end to end. Out of a few easy tackles go Lee Denki. Up to the 10 metre line, Taipei are struggling to get players back now. Jiang swoops on the loose ball. Steps inside one, goes outside the other. Oh, and over the line, Shan Chung Shan has botched it. That would have been try of the tournament. End to end stuff and good defence. This Chinese Taipei struggle still to get four players behind the ball. Good work by Huang, number seven, getting back there, getting a little pinky in the road there and just upsetting. And that was all it took to make it look like he'd made one of the worst errors of today. They really needed that. We're locked up at zero wall here. Oh, that's a crazy pass between the legs. Somehow he gets away. What's he going to do? You want to be careful he doesn't get this ripped off and he somehow comes outside the ruck. Incredible piece of play from Chinese Taipei. Look at this. Through his legs. He could have kicked it out. Beats one. Goes underneath a couple here. Nearly comes out the other side. <laughs> and also nearly gives away a try. So We are locked up with 30 seconds till half time. China getting a real workout here. This will be an easy score surely. For Jiang, and those are always hard to defend. It's a cruel blow for Chinese Taipei. When you're five metres from your line, you get penalised, and your opposition has the ball in their hand already. They don't have to go and fetch it from anywhere. And you've got to get back on your line. It's a cruel way to concede five right on half time. Yep, China pulled up in fourth spot, legs one and two. Behind Korea, it's been the same top four for each tournament so far. And they cleaned their pool out in Hong Kong, beat everybody on day one, beat Korea, beat Japan, and look like world beaters. But as yet, failing to make a cup final in the series, 
Chinese Taipei. Can they cause the second upset of the day? Hong Kong losing to Malaysia earlier. Malaysia and Chinese Taipei bolstered by their wins over Japan in Seoul. May not be a first-rate Japanese side, but that's a victory you'll never forget. So Huang, this gifted footballer, sticks it up nice and high. Puts China in their own 22 and says, have a go at us from there. Go 80 if you can. And of course they can. Here's Gal. Flicks inside a couple of couple of tackles. Puts the shoulder in the big Mary sidestep. That's good athletic play from the big man. But here come Chinese Taipei and a bit of off the ball pushing and shoving there. And here's Ma Chong. You've got to get hold of him nice and early, and they do. A stray boot manages to trip him over. And they come around the corner. And an easy ball back to Shan Chang Shun finally. And Chinese Taipei said, come at us from 80. And they have. And they've gone under the posts for try number two to put a little buffer on Chinese Taipei. front of the kicker this time so schoolboy error there from China Chinese Taipei now will have to work their way back into this game they trail by 14 they were in it for a good 6 minutes 59 seconds of the first half and this crowd would love to see the lesser fancied, smaller team take over a big team. But there's been a knock on on the far side. So I think the lights will probably come on here soon at the Racecourse International Stadium. And nice little breeze. It was very hot earlier in the low 30s, very humid weather that probably not uncommon to many of these sides. And there's a bit of a substitution here with Gao coming off and He had to duck under the shelter there. It's I was just. Here comes Mark. Just opens the legs a bit. Gives it out to Wang. Wang gets caught on the 10, and that's good tracking defence from Chinese Taipei. Admirable stuff. Really throwing everything into this. Could easily have just let that go. Here's Huang, steps off the right. He's looking for support. No one's behind him. He has to make a few yards, and look at him go with those slim legs of his. Gets them pumping, and Lin fires out a big Hail Mary. 
And it's very broken field now. Chinese Taipei love that, but just booting it through rather recklessly was the big man there, Chuang Po Yao. He's a man that loves to get the ball in hand and have a wee trundle. He's got real gas. He's got a good step on him. He's got all the skills. He's an athlete. And there he is just making a real nuisance of himself there. He's gone right past it. And that could have gone either way there, really. Referee Kaminda from Fiji says you didn't roll away. Real scrappy. But here come China Ma Chong on a direct straight line. Well read. And just spotted the gap, ran the gap, and got a beautiful inside pass. Short ball, and he had eyes only for the try line. There was no one back there. One of those cruel ones again where you get penalised, you've got three or four players on the ground, and it's always tough. Third try for China, and that probably puts it out of reach now. Hicka. The Pelicans come flying across the field. What a magnificent sight. Look out, here comes the Pelican again. I think it's that one from Finding Nemo. Here comes Chinese Taipei. They're down by three converted scores and they've only got a minute left. Playing for some consolation. Uh, an unfortunate bounce off the hands of Lin as he looked to finish this match on a high. Maybe he was thinking a pelican was about to swoop down on him and scoop him up, and it's massive bill. <laughs> Time is nearly up on the clock here. That looked forward. Yeah. Huda has gone as China decide to break out and put one more nail in the coffin, nailing it shut for Chinese Taipei. It's this huge man, Chen. Looks like he could be in the Olympics throwing a hammer or lifting some tin above his head. Look at the size of this man. You need some try scorers. That's the completion of that game. 28 points to nil. China have a Chinese, Chinese uh, Taipei, Taipei in that uh, group game of the men's uh, category. Coming up next is uh, the women's uh, segment, and the first game uh, will be South Korea taking on India in the women's matches.
Well, uh, we have uh, found an uh, iPhone. It's at the uh, DJ's, uh, DJ's uh, 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 table. Can, table. can you come please over, come over? Anybody who has lost an iPhone, please uh, come over here to where the DJ is. Once again, anybody who has lost an Apple iPhone, please come over to where the DJ is. We have your lost phone with us.